In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, everybody. My dear brothers and sisters, today we gather with great joy to celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, at the beginning of our Holy Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to call the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede on our behalf. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. Who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and that fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with the seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. your children within you. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. For we all partake 
of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen. Amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. What a beautiful day, my dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. With the solemnity, the church church wants to make it public, our faith in the real presence of the risen Lord in the most holy sacrament. Many churches in the world celebrate this day with beautiful and very uh, special processions throughout the streets of the cities and towns to express our Catholic faith in the real presence of Jesus uh, in the most holy sacrament of the altar. This mystery, my dear friends, that our Catholic Church celebrates every year is a mystery that first gives us the identity as Catholics and at the same time is what distinguishes us from other religions. 
because unfortunately throughout the years um, other Christian denominations lost this mystery. They don't believe anymore in the mystery of the Eucharist. So I believe that the very first question for us to start this homily would be, what is this mystery then that we celebrate in the Eucharist? Well, my dear friends, with this solemnity of Corpus Christi, I think it's very clear. We are celebrating, above all things, the presence of Christ, the real presence of Christ in our midst. Why? Because we do believe, my dear friends, that Jesus, the historic Jesus, the human being who was born in Bethlehem and who died in Jerusalem, was risen and ascended into heaven, we believe that he's not only a human being. Yes, he is human, but he is also the eternal Son of God. And he has revealed to us that God is an eternal Father who has an eternal Son, and that between Father and Son there is an eternal love, who is also a divine person called the Holy Spirit. And we celebrate this reality last weekend. So, my dear friends, in Jesus, it, it, it was revealed to us the Holy Trinity. But it was also revealed that it is in Jesus that we find our salvation. Because since He is God, but also human, now through Him, we, human beings, we have this gift of being part of the life of God. This is only possible through Jesus. If we want to be part of the life of God, it's only through Jesus. So that's why, my dear friends, we need now to be united with the Lord. We need to be with Him because only through Him we will receive salvation. And so you may ask, Father, I believe all Christians believe the same thing. Yes, indeed, they do believe the same thing. The difference is, my dear friends, that we Catholics, we believe that Jesus left in this world for his disciples the power to celebrate the sacraments. And we are the only ones who believe in this. The power to celebrate the Eucharist. So through the centuries, the apostles transmitted this power in such a way that when a validly ordained priest takes bread and wine and pronounces the words of consecration, this is my body and this is my blood, the bread and the wine is not that anymore. The appearance of bread and wine is, of course, but the truth is that, that now there is a living person there. The risen Jesus is there, hidden behind the curtain, the veil of the bread's appearance, of the appearance of the wine. That's exactly what distinguishes us as Catholics. It's because when we adore the Eucharist, we adore the risen Lord. How many times have we been accused of being idolatrous for praying in front of a statue? But that's not exactly what makes us different from other Christians. What makes us different from them, it's because we truly worship. And we truly worship the consecrated host. Because that's the only appearance of a bread, but the risen Lord is there, so we worship Him. We adore Him truly. And the solemnity of Corpus Christi is for us to exercise this worship. The solemnity, it's for us to make it public in the real presence of our risen Lord in the sacrament. It's truly God who was made man and who is alive in that appearance of bread. So my dear friends, more than ever, 
we are called to always praise and try to find all the opportunities that we have to worship God in the blessed sacrament of the altar. That's why we put the host in the monstrance. That's why we light at least six candles and we have flowers in the altar. That's why we kneel with both knees on the floor and we bow and we use incense because we know that the angels of heaven are right now with us, celebrating with us and singing with us because Jesus is alive and truly present here behind this appearance of bread. And we have this amazing gift in our church because only the priests have this power. All those feasts and banquets and suppers that we see out there, it's not Eucharist. That's a gift from our Catholic Church. The real presence of a living person who is God and who deserves our worship. So all praise may be given to you, O most holy and most dignified sacrament. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as man, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered around the table of the Lord, we call to mind our needs and the needs of the world. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church, the body of Christ, that as we partake of the bread and wine that becomes his body and blood, it may nourish and strengthen us all around the world as we proclaim the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our elected officials and candidates for public office, that they may seek to increase the participation and engagement of us all to bring about the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are sick and for all of those who care for them, in their homes or in hospitals or through hospice. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that an increased devotion to Jesus, who is hidden yet physically present in the Eucharist, may deepen our care for unborn children, who are hidden beneath the hearts of their mothers. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our faith community, that the strength we receive from the Eucharist may energize us to reach out and assist those who are in need of nourishment, clothing, or shelter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for Lawrence Thomas, for Julie Terigny, Catherine Lanza, Gil Kimo, Yenak Jung, Vincent Comtois, and for all those who have died recently. And at this Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Leo Tetro. 
We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for all of our own personal intentions, which we reveal now at the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Generous God, you provided our ancestors manna in the desert and water from the rock. Instill in us generous hearts so that we can share our bounty with those in need. Grant this in our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray now, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace 
whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, He offered Himself to you as the unblemished land, the acceptable gift of perf perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacrament Nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration and with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Mr. Me of We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your, min in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Today we remember Leo Tatro, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, Saint Anthony, who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, whom God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. by divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Same instructions as the last couple of weekends. Please keep uh, social distancing at all times. There are marks on the floor to help you out. Um, and always come with your mask to the line.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, live and reign forever and ever. Because we are celebrating the most holy body and blood of, Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ, today we're going to have um, a little bit of a benediction and the blessing with the Blessed Sacrament. Please kneel. O saving victim opening wide the gate of heaven to us below, our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name be endless praise, immortal Godhead one in three. Grant us for endless length of days in our true native land to be. I adore you, Lord and Creator, hidden in the most blessed sacrament. I adore you for all the works of your hands that reveal to me so much wisdom, goodness, and mercy, O Lord. You have spread so much beauty over the earth, and it tells me about your beauty, even though these beautiful things are but a faint reflection of you, incomprehensible beauty. And although you have hidden yourself and concealed your beauty, my eye, enlightened by faith, reaches you, and my soul recognizes its creator, its highest good, and my heart is completely immersed in prayer of adoration. My Lord and creator, your goodness encourages me to converse with you, your mercy abolishes the chasm which separates the Creator from the creature. To converse with you, O Lord, is the delight of my heart. In you I find everything that my heart could desire. Here you light illuminance my mind, enabling it to know you more and more deeply. Here streams of graces flow down upon my heart. Here my soul draws eternal life. O oh, my Lord and Creator, you alone, beyond all these gifts, give your own self to me and unite yourself intimately with your miserable creature. O oh, Christ, let my greatest delight to see you loved and your praise and glory proclaimed, especially the honor of your mercy. O oh, Christ, let me glorify your goodness and mercy to the last moment of my life with every drop of my blood and every beat of my heart. Would that I be transformed into a hymn of adoration of you when I find myself on my deathbed. May the last beat of my heart be a loving hymn glorifying your unfathomable mercy. Amen.
Bowing low then, offer homage to a sacrament so great. Here is new and perfect worship. All the old must terminate. Senses cannot grasp this marvel. Faith must serve to compensate. Praise and glory by the Father. Bless his Son's life-giving name, singing their eternal Godhead, power, majesty, and fame, offering their Holy Spirit equal worship and acclaim. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven, having within it all sweetness. Lord Jesus Christ, you, have, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood Help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thank Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful week, everybody. God bless you. And for those with a missalette, we invite you to sing our recessional hymn, number 120, Holy God, We Praise Thy Name, number 120. Thy rain.